right i'm gonna start this vlog by saying um i'm actually here with you now on the 12th of july <laughs> um and the clips from this are from the course of like two weeks ago like last friday and probably the friday before that um i do an unboxing at the start of this video and then i say i'm gonna do something after that and then i don't do it <laughs> um and at the end uh yeah we did go car shopping but i didn't do any um like filming or anything because it was a weird old day um so yeah i might have an update there soon i'm not sure we're still deciding what we're doing there so yes uh let the vlog commence let's try this so something has just arrived that i'm very excited about let me show you it's in this box you can't see my address can you no <laughs> that's the last thing we want is a bloody stalker <laughs> right how do i get this off there we go let's get this off let's get my address off of here and then you won't be able to find me there we go right so this is a parcel for me and let's have a look shall we oh. this is not an asmr unboxing because i'm too excited also have my car service this morning need three new tyres, don't I? At £180 each. Woohoo! Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm going to flip this upside down, I think. <laughs> I bought the... Shark Flex Style from, oh someone's cut that, from QVC Outlet. So this just means someone's probably bought it and sent it back because they don't want it anymore. So, how do we, oh, this way, open it up. And it might just be because there's a little, they've cut the box as they've opened it, but. <laughs> Oh look, so normally I think these are about 270 to 300 pounds with the case, which I got, but I paid 190 pounds for this online. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'm happy that I got the one with the case to be honest, because um, the cases have been out of stock for ages for people to buy. Oh, it's all still in all the bits and bobs. This is the device. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. So I got the black and rose gold one. It's got the power cable. Let's check the brushes to see. Oh, this is the diffuser head. Oh, look at that. And you can do it like, you can adjust the bits on it. Oh, oh, ooh la la. And then the brush heads, let's have a look. Because if these have got hair in, you'll tell if they've been used or not. They're all like, it's got a sticker on it. So maybe that was the new bit. Yeah. Oh, look. Look at that. Nice big bounce blow dry. And this has got a sticker on. I don't know why. So maybe this was the bit that was refurbished. Well, that was satisfying. Um, so, yeah. I got this, this is an early, <laughs> I saw it on the QVC site and was like, Jack, 
can you buy this for me for my birthday right now? <laughs> so that's what happened with that. Oh my gosh, then here's your little noggin bits. And I've used this um, before. I use my friend's one. And these are like an in-between size of the Dyson ones. The Dyson, you get the thinner one and the thicker one. This is like the in-between size. So I'm happy about that. And then this is just your generic blow dryer head. <laughs> well, I know what I'll be doing tonight. Washing my hair and blow drying it. Fuck me. Love, 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 love. <laughs> I'm excited. Anyway, if all you see on my YouTube now is content of me playing with this, I'm really impressed. I haven't turned it. Should we plug it in and see if it actually works? Because that will be the, te the test of time, won't it? Let's, uh, excuse me, Mr. Toaster. And it's got a little sticker on there, QVC, so maybe I'll have to register that. Oh! Oh! Right, let's. Oh, it's very warm. How do we turn the heat? Oh. Bloody wonderful, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, maybe actually, I do need to wash my hair tonight and stick me. Oh, I've just broken my clip. No! This is because Jack keeps playing with the bloody thing all the time. Where'd that go? Oh, anyway. <laughs> I must have another one in here somewhere. No. Ex excellent. 10 out of 10. Oh, look at the state of that now. <laughs> anyway, tonight I will wash my hair and put my orange toner in my hair and use my new gadget. <laughs> so yeah, I'm an air and an air styler girl now, guys. And this case is good, so when I go away or weekends or whatever, I can just take the whole thing if I need it. Lovely. So yes, thanks for watching this unboxing. See you in a minute for the actual use of the device. Cat, cat, dog, mess. The house is a mess because last night, um, oh, I just stabbed myself in the lip. <laughs> you know when things just go from bad to worse. Anyway, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, it's Friday. I'm gonna vlog today to try and snap myself out of this like shitty mood to try and be more productive. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't know what I wanted to start off and say. I'm having a cup of tea, and then I've just seen something on threads, because I'm on threads now, where someone's put <laughs> people that have tea instead of coffee in the first thing in the morning, red flag. I just can't hack strong flavours. My palate can't hack, hack the strong flavours of a coffee first thing in the morning. And this is disgusting, but I drink a cup of tea and then I'll brush my tea. Um, so yeah, I'm working from home today. I really need to tidy up down here. I need to put four loads of washing away. I've got a, the cats on the cooker. Sharon! I need to put four loads of washing away. I've got a delivery coming from George, from Asda, a few little bits. I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, I've got some work stuff I need to do. I need to sort the office out. I need to just get a grip, really. And my hay fever has given me, I think it's my hay fever that's given me a headache. Like the last few days, I felt really groggy. And I feel like, because you can hear it in my voice now. 
I've taken a loretidine this morning, so hopefully in an hour or so that will kick in. I got a couple of bits from TK Maxx yesterday on my lunch break, so I'll show you those. Some nice bits. So yeah, come and spend the day with me trying to snap out of being a miserable git. <laughs> Right, I'm just sticking a ginger toner in my hair before I have a shower. I use this Clairol Color Gloss Up Terra Copper. Um, and it comes out really dark. I've got another one of these just in case because I don't know if this is going to be enough. Um, but yeah, I've just shampooed my hair. I'm going to, I've sectioned the bottom half. And then we'll just give it a go over la, la, la. I want to try and cover my greys a bit <laughs> I don't normally do section it off like this I normally just stick my head over the bath but then I miss bits and I think oh I should have gone back in and done that so that's why I'm doing it properly for the camera you see this bad boy is what I've always used and probably always will use um, it's St. Moritz um, in dark. Uh, yeah. So what I have done is I've just seen, well not just seen, oh he can't even see me. I saw someone on Instagram do a reel about moisturising your hand, like your dry bits first. So I've just put some cream on my hands, my elbows, my knees and the dry bits of my ankles. So we'll give that a go. I'm going to let that kind of sink in for a minute so it's not sticky. And then use my dirty old mitt and wax some tan on. I have just had a text that the Yodel delivery driver is going to be here in a minute with my George delivery. So I'm going to probably be mid tan, aren't I? The tan is on. I have done my face with the mitt, but I'm not going to leave it on for hours. So it should be all right. The colours in my hair. The Yodel delivery driver knocked on the door while I was absolutely starkers trying to do my tan. Um, but yeah, only two out of three of my things have been delivered. So I wonder if the other thing is going to come later today or if he's going to turn around and be like, whoops. So yes, we shall see. It's now nine o'clock. So I need to get on with some work. Um, and I need to drink some water really, don't I? Pardon me. Right, we're going to wash this off without we're going to attempt to do it without getting any of the tan off because i want to leave the tan on for like a minimum of four hours so i'm just literally going to rinse this out of my hair and then put a hair mask in uh to whack that moisture in the hair mask i've got it's literally just a cheap one um i think this is meant to be like an lv dupe um it's a hyaluronic acid mask by expel hair care so I'm going to rinse this out and shove this on here. And then when I wash all the tan off, I'll rinse my hair again. <laughs> that was quite possibly the biggest fail of my life. I put my head over the bath and the water ran all down my arms and my tan started coming off. So I just thought I'd jump in. I don't think it's given me any colour. It's been on for like almost two hours. Um, so maybe I'll do my tan again tonight if I can be bothered. But my hair is much oranger redder now so I'm happy about that <laughs> downstairs with my slippers I really need to tidy this room because it looks like a bomb has gone off there's just piles and piles and piles of shit um yeah <laughs> I picked this up from Morrison's to have um, for lunch, but it's got loads of fucking mushrooms in it, so I'm going to put them in a bowl and take all the scuzzy fungus out. <laughs> so that's what I've got. It is mustard, chicken and roast potatoes, but I didn't read that it says with mushrooms and it's got mushrooms on the picture, but that is a lot of shroomios and that is not for me. Can you see all those thunderbugs everywhere? Look at them. I've had the back door open for like an hour and they're on every wall downstairs. Drinking some water in this very like ASMR-y textured nice tumbler that I got from TK Maxx. <laughs> 
Ugh, the other half of my George order still hasn't arrived. Apparently it's going to come before 9 o'clock tonight, but we shall see. I don't think so. Um, I'm just doing a bit of work. Trying to kill the 1 million thunderbugs. Most of them have dropped to the floor, which is gross. So I've just hoovered quickly. Ugh. I just feel blech today. Ah, my third parcel just arrived with a different delivery driver. So I reckon it like got mixed up in the sorting office or whatever you call it. So I'm going to show you my boring purchases now. <laughs> the first thing is this. Um, we had an error in our flat um, and when we moved, we never bought another one. And I've just got one because... Uh, I really just dislike using the tumble dryer. It sh we've got a washer dryer. It shrivels up all of our clothes. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Uh, and the next thing I got was this Fanta t-shirt. Oh, my neighbour's pulling on their drive. Hi. This Fanta t-shirt, which is George Asta. Um, and this was £9. And I got this because I saw my friend Nines from Ransom Big Pants wearing this. Oh, it's nice and thick. Right, I got this. Joseph and Joseph four-piece utensil set. Because we've had the same utensils since 2018. They're battered, they're stained. But look at these. They fit really nicely. And we're very limited for space um, in our house. The only thing it doesn't have is a masher, uh, but that's fine. So, Jack will be pleased. <laughs> Get out. Ah, okay, so they all, that's even better, look at that. It all squeezes together. That's what, we, what I've wanted for so long is stackable utensils that can just slide in the drawer. <laughs> so there's a <laughs> spatula. And then a slotted spoon, and then a normal spoon, and then a ladle. Perfect. And this was in the ads to sale, and I don't know how much for. I can't remember, I'm afraid. But I will link what I've bought down below. I'm actually going to show you the utensil drawer, and we'll get rid of the old ones and put these ones in it. Uh, as you can see, we're very limited for space. These are Joseph and Joseph dividers, and these are our utensils. This is, I see, it's all like just gross. So we get rid of that. Uh, this ladle compared to that one is massive. Um, and then this, it just takes up so much room because it's all such mish mishmash. So yeah, the only thing I can want to keep is this, but that's fine because it's smaller. Um, my nephew saw this once, it's a corkscrew, and he said, um, <laughs> Auntie Sophie's a boy with a curly willy. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm going to put the new bits in there, give this a hoover out and a clean, and then come back. It isn't perfect, but it's loads better, and we just have to live with what we've got. These spoons just do my absolute head in, I could probably do just having six in there instead of eight, because nine times out of ten, it's just me and Jack in the house, and we never have eight people around here so i've got my electric mist my knives my steak knives i don't know why i've got so many knives in this house but there we go i swear on every video i say how much i hate morrison's but i've got to go there now because i want to do seafood linguine for dinner so i need some like okay, i've got some mussels but i need some other seafood um to put in take a bag that'll do I need some other seafood to put in the mix. Oh, and maybe some chopped tomatoes. Have I got any? Probably not. No, I've just got nine. Oh, yeah, no, I have got chopped tomatoes. So I just need some seafood, get some drinks because it's a Friday. Me and Jack like to have a cider or a beverage on the Friday. So, yes, let's go to Woody Morrison's again. Look at that. Oh, me and Stan are just out for a walk. Um, I don't even know what time it is now, maybe like eight o'clock. But yes, yeah, so we're just going for a nice walk. You now it's cooled down a bit because it's been like 27 degrees today. So, come on. Yeah. Um, not much to update on this vlog. I think we're going to look at cars tomorrow. 
Um, so maybe I'll take you along. I've got an idea in my head of what I want. <laughs> um, and Jack's got an idea in his head of what he wants. So we'll see who has to compromise. But yeah, just getting some steps in and walking the dog. Bloody lovely evening.